so there's no shortage in the market today with these kind of medium length lob style cuts with lots of lazy beach waves. We're gonna compare two of them today, very similar in style and color. The first one, which is the one that I'm wearing, is Dakota by Envy in the color Light Blonde. We're gonna compare that to uh, a style by Beltress called Caliente in one of their newer blonde shades, Cream Soda Blonde. These are both kind of medium length lob style cuts with lazy beach waves. Both of them feature a little bit of a fringe bang. Both of them have a full temple to temple lace front left hand monofilament side part feature. And the overall length is probably around 12 to 13 inches. It just skims the shoulder on me for both of these. So let's grab that Caliente style in the Cream Soda Blonde. Now Cream Soda Blonde is one of the new releases by Beltrus. We've decided that uh, the Cream Soda Blonde is basically the Butterbeer Blonde without any rooting. So you're looking at two very light blonde shades here. Neither one are rooted. The new Cream Soda Blonde starts with a light sandy brown or a dark sandy blonde, but it's very heavily highlighted with an ash kind of platinum shade. Those highlights are chunky and profuse, and it really does make this a very light platinum-like blonde, neutral to ash in tone. So comparing that to Envy's Light Blonde. Now I've seen Light Blonde on several different Envy styles. It seems like the Light Blonde looks a little different on each one. Based on this Dakota piece though, we're looking at a, a light to medium a beige blonde and then that's heavily highlighted with a, an ash platinum shade. So it is also a very light, bright, uh, unrooted blonde. So both of these are really neutral to cool and offer a very nice light blonde, almost platinum experience with no root. On the Caliente, that front piece fringe is about seven inches, six and a half to seven inches, so that really comes down to about my chin. Now on the Dakota, it's around five and a half inches but it blends so well back into the style, it's very hard to really tell a difference between these two in terms of um, you know, how and where that fringe will strike you around the face. Sharing that same kind of choppy, beachy way, although I feel like the Dakota has a little more body uh, in those waves compared to the shattered, choppy texture of the uh, Caliente. So there is a difference in price. The Caliente as of today is about $50 more retail uh, than the, the Dakota. But I feel like the, the Beltrest Caliente has a little bit of a superior cap just in terms of construction, how it feels. They both fit uh, pretty much average. I had to cinch them both in to accommodate a petite average circumference. So let's do a full side-by-side -side comparison. I hope you enjoyed the video today. We'll see you next time on Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.